Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Martino. I am the founder of the London Saxophone School. We help you master your skills on the saxophone with courses, lessons, workshops, masterclasses. So for any questions saxophone related, just let me know here below. So today we're going to talk about saxophone accessories because, you know, having a lot of accessories is super important to become a great player, right? <laughs> so let me get my case and I show you everything I have. So here I have my case. I'm going to put it here on the desk and I'm going to show you everything I have, starting from the case itself. Now, this case is amazing. It's an Eastman case. I've had two over the past 12 or 15 years or so. It comes with bright colors, which I love. I used to have a red one. I have a yellow one. It's solid. It protects your saxophone super well. Um, very good if you're traveling. It's super compact. The only downside is that there's not a lot of space inside for, you know, reeds and, and stuff. I'm going to show you what I do for that as well. And so that's all. That's my case. Now let's open this up. And inside I have my saxophone here. Um, I have a Series 2, a Selmer Series 2, which I love. It's super, super amazing. I've had it since 1998 and it's great. It works perfectly. Okay. Now, uh, this case comes with a pouch in which you put your mouthpiece and your neck. Okay. Um, so that's amazing. And you just put the pouch afterwards inside your belt. Okay. That's super, super handy. Now, the third thing I want to show you is mouthpieces. I carry with me four mouthpieces, which are the ones that I own. Okay, currently I'm playing on a major six, which is the one I use for playing jazz. Now I also have three other mouthpieces, which are more for classical music. And I have a Selmer C star, a Selmer C double star and a D. So I have these three mouthpieces here. And that's all I have. And they all go into this little pouch in here. And by the way, I have great, great news and I'm super grateful for this. The great saxophone player Bob Reynolds is going to do a virtual masterclass for the whole saxophone community on April 16th. So if you're interested in that, if you want to know more, I'm just going to leave the link here below in the description for you to check it out. Now, accessory number four, ligature. Now, is the ligature an accessory? Not really. OK, but I'm showing you everything I have in here. Now, I've been playing with this ligature for the past, I don't know, eight or ten years okay is the cheapest ligature you can find in the market it's like 10 pounds or so okay i was never bothered to buy an expensive ligature because i prefer to spend the money in other things maybe reads <laughs> and really spend the time into practicing and really shape my sound in here and just you know dedicate myself to practicing so i was like you know i don't really care i'm just gonna buy the cheapest ever and it's and it's worked i've used it in concerts and in recordings it, it works okay nothing fancy so that's what i have now i used to have a very very good ligature from a very small french company called ligaphone and i really loved that ligature but then my very strong nephew who was at the time around one or two i think broke it i don't know how he broke it but broke it okay and then after that was like eh, it doesn't matter i'm just gonna buy the, the cheap one it's fine okay but if you come across ligaphone check them out because they're really really incredible now apart from my normal ligature that i use all the time i have been recently gifted a new ligature by some great people in greece who are developing this new type of ligature this is a prototype which i already like a lot it's very bright um it's very bright for myself at least and but it's really free blowing so i'm really liking this and i think i'm gonna keep this for a while at least for a year or so so i'm gonna give this a try because I, I really like it <laughs> Now, the fifth thing I'm going to show you is a true accessory, and that is cork 
Grease. Now, chord crease is essential to have. I often lend this to students who have brand new saxophones with a very stiff cork, and that is super important to have. So the only thing you need to do is you just open that and you just put a, a little bit of cork, I mean, a little bit of grease on the cork, and that's it. And then the mouthpiece will just slide with no problem. Okay, now my cork is, is pretty old, so it's all nice and smooth. But if you have a brand new saxophone or a brand new cork, that will be super stiff. So have some cork grease. Cork grease is super cheap. It's around £2.50 here in the UK. I think it's $5 in the US. Correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't really matter which brand you get. So anything will do. Okay, any brand will do. The only thing I've seen is that cork greases that are included in brand new saxophones, typically under $500 or so, don't tend to be so good. Okay, um, but that's just, you know, a generalization. So just get it off Amazon or your mu local music store and that will be fine. Now, this little guy is super, super important. I always have it in my case because you never know what can happen, right? You might have to tighten a loose screw and this is a really, really thin and it works for all the screws on the saxophone, okay? When you're traveling, it's super important, again, because you never know what can happen. But if you're traveling, especially if you're flying, remember to put this in your suitcase so you don't have any problems at security and police don't take it away because it's, you know, pretty important to have it. Now, the seventh thing I want to show you is a true accessory again, and that is cigarette paper. Now, I use this a lot um, to protect my bottom lip when I play a lot of classical and contemporary music, just because my bottom lip becomes really tired uh, more than when I play jazz. So you just apply it on your bottom teeth and it will protect your bottom lip and you will be able to play for longer. Now, I've done a video on how to apply it and how to use this, uh, and you can check that out here or here, I don't know, somewhere here, okay? Uh, super useful if you wanna protect your lip and just wanna have a little bit less pain, you know, in, the, in that internal part. The eighth and last thing I wanna show you is a simple pull through, you know, that I use to clean my saxophone when I finish practice. And so just pull this through inside the saxophone a few times and then my saxophone is clean. Nothing fancy, I got this off Amazon, it's a BG. Uh, pull through nothing fancy I'm gonna pull all the links here below to all the products that I've said you know but there's not many <laughs> as you can tell right so and um, that's all simple pull through to clean your saxophone so that's all I have in my case that's all just because my case doesn't have a lot of room to fit anything else so what I do is I carry a separate bag for my reeds for my metronome and for my sax holder okay that's all so as you can tell as you can tell, I'm a big fan of accessories. No, seriously, I'm a minimalist, so I don't really care about accessories because I want to spend my money on something else and I want to spend my time on practicing and, and continue developing as a, as a saxophone player and musician, okay? So that's my take, you know, that's what I do. I want you to concentrate on playing rather than buying things and looking for answers on products which won't make you a great musician, okay? So that's all. If you're looking for uh, more tips on how to develop as a sax player, you're welcome to download the ebook here below, which is called Seven Saxophone Tips for All Levels. And leave me a comment for any questions that you might have saxophone related. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.